Leaders in Hobbs say they are celebrating a tremendous victory after its safe haven baby box saved the life of a baby boy this weekend. KCBD News Channel 11's Brittany Crittenden was at Fire Station 1 for the announcement this afternoon. She has the message from first responders to this parent and to other families who may be weighing this difficult decision. If there's a baby that is safe and healthy, we win. At 12.31 on Saturday, a parent made the tough decision to close one door and open another. And I want to start by thanking the mother who made this selfless act allowing her child to have a life. In that moment, a text message was sent to Hobbs fire officials that the baby box had been opened. They got a notification again 30 seconds later that something had been placed inside the box. Three minutes later, firefighters at Station 1 heard this alert. Inside, this alarm was firing off. Alarm. Baby. Alarm. Firefighters immediately responded, providing medical care and taking the baby boy on the ambulance to the hospital. He was the first surrendered to the safe haven baby box in Hobbs. Interim Chief Mark Deporto says he couldn't be happier someone used the box for the best outcome for their child. Former Fire Chief Young said if this saves just one life and it, the fact that that happened in our fire station here, Station 1, is just a tremendous victory for the city of Hobbs and our, our county as a whole. It's a tremendous victory. The baby box was dedicated in May, a year and a half after a Hobbs teen made national headlines for the throwing her newborn baby into a large trash bin. With the negative press in New Mexico regarding the three infants that were illegally abandoned, this little boy, whether his mom knew this or not, is bringing hope back to, to Hobbs. John Wickersham is the assistant fire chief in Española, New Mexico, where the first baby box was opened in the state. He's also a volunteer for the Baby Box nonprofit, which is working to get the life-saving devices nationwide. State Senator David Gallegos is leading the way in New Mexico, working to get them in every county. He says the ability to stay anonymous while using the box is crucial. If we don't uh, protect that, there's no reason for them to come to the safe haven box. The fear is what puts these babies into trash cans. The safe haven box is supposed to give them security. Hobbs city leaders want people to know the box works and that it's available anytime. They also want this parent to know they did the right thing. There is no judgment and no shame from those of us involved in this process. And we would like to give our sincerest thanks to this family as they hope for a better life for this child. Senator Gallego says the next baby box is being dedicated in Berlin, New Mexico in October. He says Portales, Carlsbad and Roswell are also considering it. Police stations, fire departments and churches are also designated safe havens for children. Brittany Crittenden, KCBD News Channel 11. Great story, Brittany.